What up, YouTube? Back again with another video. Uh, today's video um, is just going to be on something I want to share with you guys. Uh, this is a holster that I I use for my SIG P365. Um, it is by a company called Concealment, Ex Concealment Express. Uh, some of you may be familiar with them. Now, this, uh, metal, this plastic clip here is what originally came on it. And now I had, I really don't have like an issue with the holster. Like overall, it's, it's a really nice holster. It fits well on me. But the only problem I had with the, uh, with the plastic clip is this would, now I'm a slim guy and I wear like, you know, fitted clothing. And some people may not have an issue with it. Uh, but me in particular, it used to kind of stick out. You know my belt and this would really like be the only thing that you would notice because i wear my firearm um like five o'clock um and you would kind of notice this thing like sticking out like through my shirt or when sometimes if i'm driving and i have the holster on me on my firearm firearm army it it would um i don't know it would kind of uh leave marks my shirt because it's pressing up against the seat and it's pressing up into my shirt and I don't know it just usually really caused a lot of issues with me and and it would kind of uh feel a little uncomfortable also even when I'm sitting down with the clip kind of pressing in into my side and it's kind of pushing the firearm in I don't know maybe some people have that issue some may not but me in particular the just the clip itself would cause some uncomfort and I didn't like the way, it, you know, it kind of stuck out through the shirt. So I decided to try this. Uh, this is a, a monoblock metal clip. And you can see it, it's really flush also against the firearm. One thing I like about it. Um, now, I did kind of tweak it for it to be flush so this tight. But let me go ahead and show you guys that, show you guys that uh, the firearm isn't loaded. Cleared it, you know, took all the, uh, the rounds out of it. But, yeah, you can see it's really flushed. And it sits, you know, very flushed up against my belt. And it is like a night and day difference. Um, and I also only pay like 10 bucks for it. And this is also from uh, Concealment Express. I believe the website is now, it says... Uh, rounded by concealment express so i guess they rebranded or something so um you know i'll leave the link uh to the clip if anyone is interested in uh trying it but if anybody out there you know kind of have any web issues you may have with the plastic clip because i've noticed a lot of people have swapped this out and i got this idea from someone else on youtube that decided to you know get rid of the plastic clip for their own reasons and went with the uh the metal clip and it's a world of difference. Like, I don't have to actually have a belt with this. Uh, like, if I'm wearing sweatpants, the clip will snag the uh, the material so it doesn't slide or move around. And that's also the, the problem I had with the, the plastic clip that, you know, it will kind of slide a little bit when it's, uh, when it's on me. Like, if I'm moving a certain way or getting in and out of a vehicle or sitting down somewhere, getting up, it kind of shifts a little bit. And so if some of y'all have the issue, I would definitely uh, advise to try the metal mon monoblock clip. Uh, like I said, it's a word of difference. Um, and also, like I said, I tweaked it for it to sit, you know, really, really flush up against the firearm. So it shows like zero uh, print. It... I mean, it, it hides perfectly. Exactly what I was hoping it that it did when I, you know, wear it. It does it. It, it you know, it, it does the job that I'm looking for it to do. And I actually put the little plastic pieces, the little donuts. I kind of, I put it on the inside of the uh, holster. So you can see I put it on the inside to grab the uh, the screws. Because when you order these, when you order the, the metal clip, it's not going to come with any any uh, hardware like screws. 
Now they will send the little plastic, uh, what do you call them? Like the, the washers or the plastic donuts that you would uh, put in, a, in between the screws. But I did this kind of for my own reason so it can be a little bit more flushed. Uh, some people, I guess, don't use the uh, the rubber pieces at all, but I did so the screws can fit the way it needs to without sticking out or anything, so it kind of worked out. Um, as you can see, I have sandpaper on the inside, and that was with this, so it wouldn't, so my belt can kind of have a better grab on the on the holster. It was something I was trying to tweak. It worked a little bit, but it still kind of, you know, after so long, it started back sliding a little bit. So, yeah, I just, just want to show you guys that in case anyone else is thinking about getting rid of this plastic piece. And I think this is pretty generic. Like, it would work on other holsters as long as it has the same uh, setup. And I believe a lot of other companies besides uh, Consumer Express uh, sell these. These are becoming uh, very popular. So that's it. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, you know, uh, stay tuned for more updates, more videos. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Y'all have a good day. Peace.